Hey guys, welcome. Um, like I said in the last video, I uh, got a collection from a friend of mine that I will browse through rather quick, quickly because um, those are records everyone should have or has in their collection. And then uh, a bit of new stuff that came in. Um, and then there will be a second video on the heel so that which I still can't believe, but first things first. Uh, let's run through this one. He got, he just gave this to me. He was tired of uh, holding him. Didn't listen to records, so he um, thought they would have a good home here. First one, Appetite for Destruction, a European edition with the sleeve. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful record. Then Led Zeppelin. I don't know what's the title on this one. Houses of the Unholy or something like that. Houses of the Holy, yeah. Original inner sleeve. I have this one already, but this is a um, an upgrade copy. Really cool artwork sleeve. A little wrong on the outer. So yeah. Um, then two classics, Van Halen one and two. Um, Probably also, yeah, with the original inners. Just some good old cock rock. And then Halski. Then Kiss, Dress to Kill. Um, best track on here is. I don't know, Rock and Roll All Night. I'm not sure. It doesn't have Unholy, so it's not their best record. CZ Top, Eliminator. Beards in the back. Also cool. Then some ACDC. I have a few. I have. Uh, I didn't have these one. And so it's a nice collection. Originals. No, just white sleeves. Highway to Hell. Really cool cover. Then Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. Not a not a huge Maiden fan, but um, they're classics, especially this one. And then Killers and the self titles but it's uh, Number of the Beast and then Peace of Mind, Gatefold, some knights at a long table. Yeah, great copies. Choose Priest, Point of Entry. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say their best, but you know. Original Inner, Killing Machine. Oh yeah, that's commercial for the other records. Unleashed in the East, oh, that's a good record. And then Foreigner. Uh, yeah, Cause Eyes. Also classic. This is not a gatefold, this is just an Atlantic pressing of this record. Stupid cover. Johnny Cash, cool cover. Um, ragged Old Flag. I took my guitar to the supper table, and um, this is an album, not a uh, compilation or something. No, this is an album checklist on the back. The Inner Sleeve. Very flimsy record. But I got this one for a cover, so. Yeah. This one go in. There we go. So Johnny Cash, ragged old flag. Uh, what's this? 24 karat purple, the purple. Uh, live LP. This is recorded uh, in Japan. Really good live album. Then the purple live in London. This kind of explains itself. Back, cool little inner sleeve with the live pictures. John Boards doing a one handed solo. Uh, Fireball, the textured sleeve. This is all, all these are our first press. There is a weird white spot on here. Thank God we're friends. Um, this is a gatefold. I'm sorry, gatefold. 
I'm a bit rushed because I rode a lot of miles today to get some records. I went all the way to the other side of the country. Now granted, Belgium is not that big, but deep in rock, deep purple, in rock, I'm sorry, deep in rock. Gatefold, original, first press, just black, mostly if this is on harvest, EMI. Machine Head, great record. Also Gatefold, first press, the back. These are classics. You know. Absolute classic, Savit Volume 4. This is uh, pressing on NEMS, and this is a Dutch pressing, if I'm not mistaken. I had this one, the English pressing, I think. Not the Vertigo, but the NEMS. This has a booklet attached to it. Nice book of words, picture there. So that was in there. There was Master of Reality, the um, embossed cover. I also have this one, but with the fold-over flaps. This is this is a vertical swirl, but um, not the the most sought after pressing. Then a compilation, Black Sabbath Attention. This is volume one, I think. Yeah. There's also volume two. It's like a best of. Nothing. Uh, Nothing too weird on this one. Some reggae. I think this is the third. No, no, I have another Bob Marley record. Not really my thing, but, you know, classic nonetheless. And then this, I, I was actually the most pleased with this. This is a uh, Brent Van 3000 drinking in LA, a Maxi. Um, and it has Deer Side and Bunny Side, Problem with Sheldon drinking in LA, a mix. Thinking in LA, a remix, and Sinking, Drinking, and Drinking in LA, and then the album version, just the original. So uh, I always loved that track. I don't know much about um, the other music they did, but I love this one. This is on a Coke bottle clear. This is not limited or not expensive or anything, but um, yeah, never saw it. This is on SPRO Records. That leads us into the hip hop. This is um, Raising Hell from Run DMC in excellent condition. This is a monster record. Just black vinyl, nothing much. Um, it's tricky. My Adidas Walk This Way. All the tracks are on here. This is on Fallen and London Records. So yeah, Run DMC. Then there was this Walk This Way Mugsy that uh, had some water damage and stuff like that, but great record nonetheless. It has Walk This Way and then the instrumental version and my Adidas on the B side. Then it takes a million, it takes a nation of millions to hold it back. Public Enemy, also a classic. I already have this one. This has some writing on it. Original inner sleeve. So this is a double copy. And then last, but certainly not the least, BC Boys self-titled, yes. Uh, awesome gatefold. This is on Dev Jam, of course. Really great artwork. And this one has all the killer tunes. This is, I was mostly pleased to get this one. Dev Jam. Not a scratch on them. So, Jay, thank you very much. They will go into plastics later in the day and then straight into the collection. Then the updates, the things I got from mail order stuff and some discogs. Um, I um, was looking for you to take updates, missed all the records of course. I got the shirt, City Hunter, Knife Protocol, and these two tchotchkes, a uh, repos poser badge and a uh, pin and then the absolute power pin so yeah that's that's about it I'm looking for the um, city hunter tape and the creepster tape um, we had uh, we did a you know, trade with that wish and they were distributing the UDTEC stuff so all we got was the absolute power and the repos was already sold out 
because it's pressed on like 300. This is also 300 or 200. This is Absolute Power, uh, Martin Coy is in here, Will Killingsworth, and other cool looking dudes. Uh, Crystal Coin, Andrew Jack Mao, and Ian Jagison. Shinsh? I'm not sure. Absolute Power, there is a gavel on the cover, there is law references. And listen, I listen true, I think this is a really good record. On white, absolute power track list. And like I said, on Udatech, I like this detail. I'm not sure this will show up, but it has Hammer Hardcore right there. Hardcore Hammer, like Metal Hammer. like that detail. They seem to have a lot of shipping problems because they all have seam splits. And uh, repos I ordered from uh, Bissell Mass also, and they even seem split through the um, through the outer sleeve. So yeah, not great. I think we have one left in the store. Hypertension uh, Records Big Cartel. So if you want one, there's one left, I think. But that was two days ago, so maybe that's gone too. I also got in that trade uh, the Death Index. Uh, this is a post punk, hardcore-ish um, records with the singer from Merchandise. This is the self-title from um, Dead Index. And it's actually a good record. It's um, The vocals are, are harsher than you would expect, or harder than you would expect with the music, but it works. Um, this is the more limited version. It has a printed inner sleeve with the lyrics. And then there's a black and white swirl, I think this was 300. And there's a tree color first press of this one. This is black and white makes vinyl first press. So yeah, Dead Index, check it out. They'll, these will be in the, um, in the Dark Tunes list, so you can check them out. And then I pulled the trigger on this one, finally. I got this on Discogs, mostly it goes for like 60 or something like that. And there was a guy who was selling it, not cheap, but okay. So I got it for a half, $35, yeah. This is the Bloodlust compilation from Black, Blackout Rage, a label that also does the City Hunter stuff, and what else did they have? Oh yeah, that creeps there, and then this one. So yeah, all that Denver hardcore stuff, and this is Civilized, uh, live on WFMU, live in Denver, then Culture Shock, live in Denver, Neat, Suburbanite, and Cadaver Dog. And it's... I love it from the, uh, this is another youth tech update I completely missed. Um, or I missed this one for sure. It is a triple tape compilation. I'll try to get it out without dropping everything. So yeah, it's three tapes, clear shell. It comes with a black outrage sticker. And they have something with knives over there because everything is knife. City Hunters, knife, knife, knife. There's a booklet with a knife. Bloodlust compilation. And then uh, it, the booklet has pictures of the hands life, all photocopied, gritty stuff. And then the wraparound sleeve, with this, which is even grittier. Nice picture of that freak from Civilized. And then Trekless on the back. Yeah, great stuff, Denver Hardcore. Check it out, that will be on the playlist too for you guys to check out. Um, then, I was talking in the last video about that article that um, Desiree sent me about the Black Circle from Iceland. She also gave me a record which I completely forgot until now. And um, it's called Naga, and the record is called Hen, H-E-N. If I'm not mistaken, and I'm a lot, mistaken a lot, these are from Italy, these guys. Um, I haven't listened really, really good. This is on Lay Bear Recordings, which is her record label. Uh, five tracks here on the back. And these guys actually have a new record coming out on that label. Um, I read somewhere the test presses were approved, so that will be rather soon, I guess. 
yeah, check them out. They have a lot of stoner and doomy stuff on that label. And like I said, this will be, I think this is more sludgy. But I'm not sure. I'll put it in the playlist. This is a really good pressing, actually. Looks like a 180. So yeah, once again, this is and promise this is the last time. Thank you very much for that beautiful package that you sent me. So once again, this is Naga from Italy. Um, almost completely true. I did a Teratur order because they had uh, this one, Kringa. And this is called uh, Through the Flesh of e Ethereal Wombs. This is a 10 inch latest release from these guys. I think they have a full length maybe and some tapes. I saw them in Leiden last year. Really good young black metal band. Are they from Norway? I'm not sure where they're from. Maybe it says one here. No. A really nice release. This is a just a cardboard, really beautiful thick paper, printed with a landscape. Inside are the guys. And then this is a triple label release. It's on Territur, uh, Voidland Shelter, and Demon Worship Productions. Three tracks, I think. Vibrant Walls, Pearly Gates, Born Essence, and Sanguine Painter. Yeah, there's no way to know where they're from, but I'm guessing Norway. Their sheets, all very beautifully done. Kind of leather pressed, but it's not pressed in, so. But it is this. It is that kind of artwork. And then the actual 10 inch is a sleek white disc. And it sounds really good. Nice release from these guys. Wish to see them alive again. Then the previous to last, this is Da Vaza. Uh, what was that title? The Downward Descent. Um, I got this in the second order I did because these were the records that weren't going fast, like the Samara or the uh, Celestial Bloodshed. Um, like I said, Darvaza. Um, it's black metal, but the vocals are more ritualistic and um, drawn out. So it's not, it's not, it's, more, it's not that cliche. I would say vocals. So this is an interesting lesson. I don't like the cover very much. There's nothing wrong with it, but when you compare it to the, all the others, this is the. This is my least favorite one from that update. Um, tr four tracks, Hanging Swords, Derelict of Passion, The Barren Earth, and Tenebrae. Yep, there is an uh, insert. Just a black, in case you didn't know what the title was. Another insert, and this is the, the record is not in here, but it's actually on here. It is the gray version. There you go. Let's put it on so you can hear what I mean with the vocals. So yeah, in the back is this one. Now the last thing uh, was the Slitter um, record, Spit of the Apostate. Yeah. Get it? Um, it's a wolf on the cover. Yeah, a wolf. Cool record. Gatefold. And this is all black metal, so let there be no mistake. Spit of the apostate, belief burned as incense, and awaiting the knife. Again with the knife. Uh, this is also the color version on white. Nice little Reaper inner and the logo. The only thing I'm missing is the Korning Korninger. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Korninger. And there is a poster with that last one. Which is weird. But a cool looking poster, but it's... I would have made this the cover, maybe. Although... 
that's something else completely. Yeah, this was the update. Uh, so a lot of metal and hardcore and some classic records. Uh, I hope you liked it. The next one will be, uh, let's say, Grail, Holy Grail teams for me. Um, is there anything I just... I, mean, I, I was hoping the, uh, the Rufus box would be in, but no such luck. And there are a lot of problems with it, so fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm gonna cut it here because there's a, another video. All oh, Holy Grails. So that one's coming out. Hope you like this one. I know you'll like the next one. Bye, guys.